Hi, today I'm going to show you how you can use Power Tools for AWS Lambda to simplify the authoring of Agents for Amazon Bedrock. Agents for Amazon Bedrock offers you the ability to build and configure autonomous agents in your applications. For example, you can create an agent that helps customers process insurance claims, or one that helps customers make travel reservations and answer questions related to those tasks. You don't have to worry about provisioning, managing infrastructure, or writing custom code. To get started with Agents for Amazon Bedrock, you need to create action groups that the agent can carry out by writing Lambda functions in the programming language of your choice. Secondly, you need to define how Bedrock can carry out those actions by generating an open API schema that defines the APIs that your action group should call. And thirdly, with those two things in your hand, you can finally create your agent and start testing. With Power Tools for AWS Lambda, step one and two are super easy. Power Tools for AWS Lambda is a developer toolkit to implement serverless best practices and increase developer velocity. So let's look into an example and see how Power Tools can help in this case. Here we have a Lambda function written in Python that has two actions, one to get the latest Power Tools version, and it returns a string, and additionally, we have another action to open a support request with the Power Tools team by scheduling a meeting. But notice that this action requires an email parameter, and it also returns a boolean indicating that the operation succeeded or not. In the first function, we use the PyPy repository API to get the latest version, live. And in the second one, we actually use a Slack webhook to post a message to the team. Now remember that besides having a Lambda function, we said that we need to define how Bedrock can carry out those actions by generating an open API specification of your actions. Look at the open API specification for just these two actions. Notice here, we have on the path object two entries, a Power Tools version operation and a schedule meeting operation. One is a GET request, the other one is a POST request. Now you notice that this is quite verbose and the file is very, very big because it's meant to be read by computers, not humans. But here you can recognize some things. You can recognize method names, HTTP methods, you can also recognize return arguments, and you can also recognize parameters like the email parameter. So with your Lambda function and these open API specification, Agents for Bedrock now knows how to carry out your actions. For instance, Bedrock agents can look into the description of this API and see that this endpoint can be used to schedule a meeting with the team. Same here, if you go with the first one, you can see that the Power Tools version operation can be used to return the latest version of Power Tools. So this gives enough information to the agent to understand which operation to call. So the next question is, how does Agents for Bedrock invoke your Lambda function? Take a look into the documentation. Agents for Bedrock will invoke your Lambda function with this type of payload. Your job is to make sense of the payload, figure out what action Bedrock wants to take, extract and validate necessary parameters, execute your business logic, and return a result. And here is how Agents for Bedrock expects your Lambda function to reply. So how would you handle these in your Lambda function? Well, take a look at this Lambda handler that I implemented here. You'll have to check the HTTP method, the API path, and then compare it to values that you define. So if the API path is latest version and the method is get, then you call your business logic. But if it's the scheduled meeting and it's a post, in order to invoke our business logic, we need to get an email. So we need to search inside the event dictionary for a parameter called email and then finally pass it to our business logic. And of course, I didn't check if the email was passed in. It's a required parameter, but I would have to implement that too. And finally, 
If Bedrock calls your Lambda function in an action that you don't know, you should also inform Bedrock that it's not valid. At the end, I handled the response. So I had to, be, to build this big payload with all the events that were passed in together with the response body from your business logic and finally return it in this format. So you can see that this is a lot of code that you have to maintain. As you add more and more operations to your Lambda function, more possibilities and action groups, these if-else conditions will only get bigger. As you had additional input parameters, this code here would also grow. Additionally, you have to keep in mind that you always have to update your open API schema as you develop your API and add more operations. So the question is, how Power Tools can help here? Power Tools can help you in two ways. First of all, Power Tools can reduce all this boilerplate code and do it automatically for you. And second, Power Tools can automate the generation and validation of open API schemas directly by inspecting your code. Let's look at how this example can be done with Power Tools. After installing Power Tools, you can declare a Bedrock Agents Resolver. Let's import it from Power Tools. Even handler a Bedrock import Bedrock Agent Resolver. Let's declare it. And then the second thing you have to do, you have to decorate each of your actions with a little bit of metadata, including the HTTP method, the API path, and a human readable description of what your action is capable of. Let's do that for each of our two actions. First of all, on the PowerTools version, I will say and decorate that this is, yeah, latest version, why not? And then I need a description which actually sounds good. I'll just remove this to be more explicit. So here I'm saying that this method should be represented by a get to latest version. And it has some additional metadata saying that this method returns the latest version of Power Tools. Let's do the same for the schedule meeting here. So this will be a post. Uh, let's call it schedule meeting. And yeah, schedule a meeting with the team. That's an option. I also like another option like open the support request by scheduling a meeting with the team. All right. So we added a little bit of metadata to our functions. We should also, to help Bedrock, uh, tell Bedrock what his email parameter is. Sometimes it's very clever, but it doesn't hurt to give it more metadata. To do that with Power Tools, you use the built-in annotated type from Python. You say that this is a query string and add a little bit more description saying uh, email address of the customer. And we need to import this query. Let's see if we can do it from here. Event handler, open API, parameters, import, query. There you go. All right. So now I added a little bit of metadata to my types. Maybe I could also annotate this one. What does the Boolean mean? So let's say that this is a um, result which is a body, and let's say true if the meeting was scheduled. There you go, sounds absolutely good. Just need to uh, import it. There you go. So now that we annotated our business logic with a little bit more metadata, including HTTP endpoint, um, and HTTP method, and description, we are ready for the fun part. Because remember, we had this Lambda handler here with a lot of boilerplate code that we don't want to maintain. So how to do this with Power Tools? This is the best part. You select all this code and you simply return your app.resolve event and context. There you go. You delegate all the resolve to Power Tools. You can forget about your Lambda handler because Power Tools will take care of all the routing all the validation, all the parameters, all the HTTP methods, and so on. 
Power Tools has everything you need. It needs to actually pull this off. So this solves the first part, reducing the boilerplate code, allowing you to actually focus on your business logic instead of all the plumbing. But we also said that Power Tools could help you generate the open API schemas directly from your code. One good way to do it is to add a little bit of code to your Lambda function. And in, if I execute this file directly with Python, I can print the app.getOpenAPIJSON schema. Yes, that's true. Power Tools has everything it needs to generate the OpenAPI JSON schema for you. We know what your uh, endpoints are. We know what is the metadata that it should be added. We know all the parameters. We know all the types. We know everything. So we actually can generate, generate that for you. Let's open our terminal and invoke the file that we just touched. And notice that I get a big open API specification on the output. Let's look at it a better way. Let's redirect this to an open API JSON file and then open it on our code editor. And here you are, the open API specification fully generated for you. You get the paths, you get the HTTP method, you get the description, you get the response types, uh, you get some validation errors too, here for the scheduled meeting, we see that it's a post. It requires an email string with as a description, and it returns a Boolean that is true if the meeting was scheduled. And everything below, all the components, everything that is on OpenAPI, 140 lines written for you automatically, generated directly from your code. It's awesome, right? So now that we have a Lambda function and an OpenAPI spec, how do I create an agent for Bedrock? First, I need to upload my Lambda function to AWS. Here, I'm using an AWS SAM template to describe my Lambda function. AWS SAM is an open source developer tool that simplifies and improves the experience of building and running serverless applications on AWS. You can see here that I'm declaring my Lambda function as a serverless function, and also, I add additional permissions to the Lambda function that allows Bedrock to actually invoke this function inside my account. So these are the two things I need to deploy the Lambda function, and let's deploy it. To deploy it, we will use the SAM CLI. So I will go to the terminal and type SAM deploy. And this will upload my Lambda function to AWS and deploy it on the AWS region I've chosen. And if I go to my AWS console and I go to my lambdas, I have my lambda function that I just created. And uh, it's just a regular lambda like you are used to it. So how do we create a Bedrock agent now? Let's go to the Amazon Bedrock console page. On the menu, we click Agents. And then we click Create Agent. Let's give it a name, Power Tools Agent. We know we don't need a description and we can leave all the other permissions or um, values at default. For the IAM permissions, I'm using my existing role. There's no need to create another one and looks good. So we click next. Now we can select the model, the foundation model that will be used to communicate. Uh, and the most important here is that we need to give some instructions to the agent. So what kind of um, agent should this be? There you go. You are a Power Tools for AWS Lambda customer service agent. Next. And this, we can start adding action groups. So um, we can start by saying version and support. It's just for you to organize your action group. And now we need to select the Lambda function. So we'll pick the one that we created already. And finally, we need an API schema for our Lambda function. Remember, we needed both, right? So I've already uploaded the OpenAPI JSON file to S3, and I'll paste the URL here, and I click Next. We don't use Knowledge Base here today, so we'll just click Next. And finally, we review our settings and we create the agent. 
Boom, that's it. So finally, we can test our agent. Let's open the test panel and try to write a message. For instance, what is the latest version of Power Tools? So now Bedrock knows about our Lambda function and it knows where the OpenAPI specification is. You notice there's a function called latest version. It will call the Lambda function, retrieve the response and format the answer for us. Let's see how it looks like. There you go. The latest version of Power Tools is 2.32.0. And if you click show trace, you can see exactly the steps that Agents for Bedrock took. So now let's go back and try to write another test. Now let's ask, I still need help. Can you please schedule a meeting with me? Now remember that we had a function saying that you can schedule a meeting, but that required an email parameter in order to work. So we cannot call that function without an email parameter. Bedrock knows this by reading the OpenAPI specification. So before it was able to fulfill our request, it will actually ask you what is the email address that we need. So let's give it an email address. PowerTools at example.org. Now notice that we don't even have to repeat the question because the large language model knows by the context what the context is, what the question was, but now that it has everything to schedule that request, it can now do it. Please check your inbox for the meeting invite. Let me know if you need any other assistance. So this is just a brief overview of what Power Tools can do for you. And now it makes it so easy to create agents for Amazon Bedrock. Feel free to check out the other Power Tools utilities, create GitHub issues if necessary, or speak to us directly on Discord. Thanks for watching.